Hello, welcome to our apartment. Come on in. So welcome to our 300 square foot apartment. I live here with my husband and it's basically a studio, but I guess some people can call it a junior one bedroom because we do have the sliding doors for our bedroom. It is obviously quite a tight space for two people, but we make it work and honestly, we're still able to have our own corners of the apartment. We do have a lot of good memories here. We've lived here for about two years and a bit now. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of memories here for sure, but we are so excited for the new place, which I will be showing all of you soon. But first, let me take you all around this apartment. Okay, so first things first is the kitchen. So this kitchen is more like a little kitchen nook, but it is all fully renovated. They have marble countertops here, a marble backsplash, and then we also have these really great storage spaces um, that are super tall actually that we put all of our bowls and plates in and a lot more other stuff. But before I show you everything that's in here, so obviously over here is the main countertop area where I do all the cooking, all of the um, prepping, all the cutting, everything is done over here. And then over here, I have this really cute fruit basket, which is actually a little bit empty right now. All we have are just our onions and garlics up here where I put most of our produce. This is from Crate and Barrel, I believe. Over here, I have the Smeg appliances that we got from our wedding registry. I absolutely love these appliances. I think they add so much character to the kitchen but here is our coffee machine and our kettle. And then obviously because the space is a little bit limited, you have to be very creative with finding areas um, to store specific things. So this corner here, I have all my caraway pots and pans. And then over here, I have like my cooking utensils, my cutting boards and my knife set as well. And then these are so cute. These are actually from our good friends from India. They're salt and pepper shakers. Uh, when they went to India to go visit their family, they got these for us. So I love these. I use these every single time. And then over here, we have our stove and oven area. And then back here, I have our cute little spice rack, um, which I think is also from Crate and Barrel as well. And then, of course, the microwave that came in with the apartment. So because we have so much, um, you know, storage up here, we actually, well, we as in me, because I'm a, I'm a short girl, I need this step ladder, which I got from Amazon, to reach everything up there. So let me show you what we keep up there real quick. Okay, so up here we have um, pantry items. Like I have sugar, flour, breadcrumbs, etc. We also have our oatmeal, and then I have like random things for my juices, like collagen powder, um, and then I have some matcha powder back here. I think I have I have like hot chocolate back there. And then over here, I have even more pantry items. I have my balsamic vinegar, rice vinegar, fish sauce. I have my almond butter, just a bunch of random things. Um, back there, I also have some pasta and some rice as well. And then in here, I have um, my alcohol items. So I have my champagne glasses and my whiskey glasses. And then I have just a bunch of mixing bowls that are from, I think this is from Crate and Barrel as well. So the best thing about this apartment is definitely our in-unit laundry machine. This is an absolute game changer. We use this probably every other day to every other like third day, but it's very rare in New York to have a in-unit laundry in the apartment. And we're definitely very lucky to have this. I will say though, because it is a two-in-one, it's a washer and a dryer in one machine. The only con about this is that it takes like at least six hours to do a full load of laundry, which is absolutely crazy. But at the end of the day, we have it in our apartment and that is just all that we could ask for. Okay, so from the kitchen, we're gonna walk into the dining area, but over here is just our cute little dining nook. Um, to be honest, we barely eat here. We usually eat on the couch while we're watching Netflix. But I do use this area to work, um, which is why I have my computer here and my um, AirPod Max is here. And then these chairs are actually a recent purchase. Um, these chairs we got from France and Sun. I believe they're, they're the genre chairs. I'll leave the link down below. But 
These are actually my dream chairs to have and Nick and I decide to gift each other these chairs for Christmas. Um, so these are very exciting and I'm very and I'm looking forward to see how these chairs look like in our new space. This table here, we actually bought this off of our friends who are moving soon. Um, but I think if I remember they got this table from Wayfair. And then over here we just have this little nook right here. But we tried to find a space to put our trash can. So this was just the perfect little space where we could hide it. And then we have um, shoes that we wear very often, so it's just easy access for us to grab our shoes. And then we somehow try to hide it with this plant over here, which I think kind of does the job sometimes. Okay, so now from the dining area to the living area. So this is probably the most used area of the entire apartment. I love what we've done with this space. I think it is super cozy and it definitely does add a lot of character to the overall apartment. So the couch is from Wayfair, I believe. I'm not sure if they still have it, but this definitely was a couch that both Nick and I were looking at. This coffee table right here, this is from Urban Outfitters. So fun fact about this um, coffee table is that it's actually the only furniture item in this apartment that we've brought from our previous apartment. Um, everything else is brand new, but this one, we love it so much that we just couldn't get rid of it or sell it. So, and it's definitely coming with us to a new apartment as well. And then this um, single seater here, this is from Wayfair. My husband actually got this and I actually sit on this way more than he does, we realized. Um, and then we just have some throw blankets here. I think this green one is from Amazon. And then this cashmere one is from Crate and Barrel. And then if you can see, we have a little hiding nook over here for our air purifier. This is definitely a really good air purifier. It's super quiet and it does a job. And then we just have this fake plant over here, which we're probably going to get rid of when we move to the new space because we've had this for a while. But we just wanted to fill this empty wall area with something. And you can't really see it, but, but right underneath the plant is actually our printer, which we barely use. But when we do have it, it actually does make a huge difference for us. Okay, and then perhaps the most sentimental item in the living area is this photograph up here. So this is actually taken by my husband when he went to Hong Kong for the first time. I'm actually, so I'm born and raised in Hong Kong. Um, and when we were dating way back then, um, he came to Hong Kong for the first time just to see where I grew up in and like meet my extended family. And I took him to this neighborhood in Kowloon um, where they have all the signage and he took a photo of it. And I thought it was super cool that I think his birthday that year, I somehow was able to get this photograph um, and then I got it secretly printed and framed and that was his birthday present. So since then we've just been having it up on our wall and it's just really cute. I think it adds a lot of character and it also just reminds me of home as well. So in our living room on the other side is where we have our TV and our TV console. So I also love this space as well. This is just our Samsung TV that we're actually selling soon. So this is probably gonna be the last few days that we get to see it before we give it away. And then over here we have a cute plan. I think this is from The Sill. And then we just have some coffee table books here. Um, Kinfolk Travel, my sister-in-law actually got this for me for my birthday, so shout out to her. And then this is actually from Majuri. It's actually a puzzle box that I thought the packaging was really pretty, so I wanted to showcase it. Okay, and then over here is this console from Ikea. And this is great, especially for small spaces because you can just hide anything that you need storage-wise in here. And when you open it, you can actually see it goes in quite deep and you can fit quite a lot of stuff in there. Okay, and now we have the bedroom here. So we have these sliding doors, um, which is nice, especially if it gets loud, like out in the hallway and everything, but it slides like this. So also, if you hear some drilling in the back, there's some construction going on outside. So apologies in advance if you hear that, but this is our bedroom and I love it so much because there is so much light that comes in here. So we're actually south facing. So during this time of the day, we get a ton of natural fresh sunlight, which is something that we did not really have in our last apartment. So definitely super grateful for that. But we have um, this bed from Ikea. And the great thing about this bed, let me tell you, especially if you live in a small apartment, and you need as much storage as you can. This bed actually lifts up 
and you can literally store so many items down here so we have like our luggages we have towels um, we have like last season's clothes in here and then you just close it and just like that no one would ever suspect a thing so over here we have Nick's work from home corner here we have his desk, um, his chair, his whole monitor, computer setup. And then we have all this artwork. Um, some of it is mine, so some of it is his. But um, this one here is actually from the Warby Parker store in Vancouver that they were giving away for free. So I just took one and I framed it. And then right over here, we have this um, skateboard that we have on the wall. Um, this is actually, I think I got this for Nick as well for one of his birthday presents or his Christmas presents. But I got this all from Etsy and it's basically an Andy Warhol print um, printed onto a skateboard which I thought was really cute. So here is our single and the only closet that we have in the entire apartment. Um, I'm not going to show you, I'm not going to open this and show you what's inside because I will admit it's a bit of a mess right now. Uh, just because we're starting to move and you know, just things are starting to get hectic. But you can see it goes up really high up and it's also really deep as well and somehow both Nick and I, we are able to fit all of our clothes in this closet, <laughs> um, but obviously it's clothes that are within the current season. So right now we're in spring, so we have all of our spring and summer clothes in here. And then right over here, we just have our laundry basket. And then this whole section over here is another one of my favorite corners of the apartment. We have all of our plants that I've been mothering and trying to keep alive. Uh, so I'm super proud about these. And then we just have our books um, and our coffee table books just all stacked up. And then we just have like a bunch of like random knickknacks. Um, like for example, I have this lucky cat that I got from Hong Kong, but except it's raising the middle finger. Okay, and then this thing over here is actually really cute. So one of our friends also gifted this to Nick for his birthday. It's a working radio and I thought it was really cute. I think he got this off from Amazon, but we just have this over here. Okay, so now the last room of the apartment is the bathroom. So the bathroom is actually right next to the front door, as you can tell. And you can come in here with me. But it's actually a really good sized bathroom for a studio apartment. Everything is again well renovated. Um, you can see in here we have a standing shower. So our shower is a rainfall shower which is really really nice because we both have never had that before. And then we have this huge sink over here which is really nice. And the sink right under it is actually um, a lot of storage that we're able to put all of our skincare products and our toiletries in here as you can tell but then up here we have our medicine cabinet um, where we keep again all of our everyday items and then down here we just have both of our perfumes so here's Nick's corner and then here's my corner so again this is like a little apartment hack but we got these wall hooks um, from Amazon so we basically have these to store our vacuum cleaner and our Swiffer um, and they just like stick onto the wall perfectly and they hold on really well and then we have our umbrella stand over here and then we have our bathrobes So that is it everybody that is our New York apartment again the space is definitely a little bit tight for two people for sure but we make it work and we both obviously have a lot of strong emotional ties in this apartment so it's definitely gonna be bittersweet when we move to the new place but I wanted to show all of you that living in New York City in a studio apartment with your partner is definitely doable I love the way how we designed this space and I thought that we did a pretty good job um, but I will leave all the links down below if you are interested to know where we got everything from but other than that I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did leave a like and subscribe to my channel but I'm so excited to share with you all our next apartment I'm gonna be showing an empty apartment tour and also just showing all of you how we're decorating the space as well but till then I will see you all in the next video